close to me. So I'm a big fan of Mud, so I was very excited to see you on screen with Jacob again. Did you two keep in touch, or was that purely a coincidence? Well, we've well, kept in touch. We talk every six months. He'll write. Now, Jacob's getting a little older now, right? So Jacob got to stay in a hotel room by himself with that mom there, so he's got a little independence, you know? And uh, um, he's growing up well, though. Takes the craft very seriously, was very professional, um, all about the work. He's really, because it's great to see him again because he was much more raw the first time we worked together in mud. Um, but he's becoming a fine little actor. His sequence in this, oof. One heck of a way to start this and that's, film. That's one take, Jacob. That's, that's one take. We did a couple, but he didn't one need more than one. One take as in from what point to what point? In all of his takes. <sighs> you did maybe two or three for the fun of it, but it was like Gary and I were like, he had it. He did it every time. He showed up prepared, ready, nailed it. Now, out of curiosity, have you ever wondered what Newt might be up to? If he was around today, you know, what cause would he fight for and how would he go about it? He'd probably, I'm sure he'd be fighting for the same cause. It crossed you my know, mind when I came up with I the mean, question. You know, I mean, this guy did it for 94 years. And he had a simple understanding that, look, I, I can't be free if, 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 if you're not. Um, his sense of what family was expanded from his household to the family of man. Um, very independent, autonomous man, but at the same time, interdependent, understood, hey, we are a brother's keeper. Um, and not in a passive way, you know, with the barrel of a shotgun and a Bible at his hip. You know what I mean? Um, he was a very, he was a real badass that way that he had such a clarity of mind of what was wrong, what was right, what was a justice, what was an injustice, how someone should be treated, how they shouldn't be treated, and it was simple to him. And he took action on it. Damn the consequences. Um, so I'm not gonna project to say what he would think of today, but that's, that's who he was for 94 years. Are there any elements of his story that didn't make it into the final cut of the film that you wish people would know about? Not in particular. If there are, you would have to ask Gary. I didn't notice anything that we shot that was a well, was a storyline that wasn't I was afraid in there. to ask Gary because I was afraid I was going to get an endless list of things from his 10 years of research. I don't think so. I mean, obviously, you know, he has to, you're going to put 10 years of research, books in historical context in his two hours of film. There's certain things you have to do to tell the story the right way, but I, not that I know of. And now, before I have to wrap up, one of my favorite things about movie making is you end up with this one film, but so many people are part of making that happen. Yep. So if you were to pick the unsung hero of this movie, whether it be you know someone in a really small role or some random person on set, who would you pick? Oh, good question. Oh, geez. Who would be an unsung hero of this? Oh, I'm gonna say the 200 wild Mississippi extras who came in to fight and be Civil War extras who knew of Newt Knight and said they would have done it for free and were damn happy to see me and meet me, but they were there because of Newt Knight. From this day forward, we declare the land north of Pascagoula Swamp to be a free state of Jones. They're poor farmers, deserters, who, frankly, sir, don't have much to lose. The winds are shifting. And you can't fight it this time. There's plenty left to fight for.